Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to set up canonical URLs for your blog posts inside of Go High Level to boost your SEO efforts. Now, if you're not familiar with the term canonical URLs, this is a way of telling the search engines that you have an existing copy of the same content or almost the same copy, or maybe you have that content in multiple versions of your website. For example, if you do a blog post called Top Marketing Automation Trends in 2024, and now you will have one main page or parent page where that content will be, but that content will also appear in multiple versions or pages of the website. For example, your homepage. So if you show the recent blog post on your homepage, then definitely that content will also appear there. Then you might have a category page where we will also have that content. And then you might have some more pages in the website where you can apply tags to your certain posts. And that itself is another page where that same content will appear. So in this case, the search engines may get confused in understanding which one is the parent page. And you might get duplication penalties as well because that same content is appearing on multiple versions or pages of the website. So canonical URLs help you avoid all of that because they tell the search engines that which is the parent page and where the content is originating from. And that is exactly what we're going to set up in Go High Level. So let me head over to my sub account here. And right now I'm under sites and blogs, as you can see here, I already have a blog set up where you have two blog posts right now. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up canonical URLs for the blog URL, for the category and author. And I'll explain you along the way, why do we need to do that? So we'll click on the three dots here once you're in your blog here. So let's do that. I'm gonna click on canonical links and now it will show you three main fields. So one is the blog URL where you will put the main blog URL that you have. So mine is, I love marketing.org. Now this will tell search engine that this is the parent for the blog. So there's no other page that should get precedence before this, right? And then we have a category and author. Now, why is it important to put canonical links for these two as well? Because these pages or the content on these pages might be showing up in other places too. For example, if you have an author page where you define something about that author, maybe their intro. Now, as you know, when you're reading a blog post, usually towards the end, there's an excerpt about the author, like who has published that, a little bit of information for that author, right? And usually that information will be the same that is on the author page as well, right? So if Google or the search engines see that, we want to tell the search engines that this is the main author page. So whatever your URL is, you just have to paste that here. So I'll just paste mine here in order to tell the search engines that even though you see the information for my authors on different pages, this is the parent URL for that. And we can do the same thing for the categories if that helps you. So this was about the main pages of the website. Now we can also do canonical URLs for individual blog posts. And the use case really is sometimes you could be talking about the same thing in two different blog posts and you want to refer it to one as the parent one. For example, if you do a topic called top marketing automations in 2024, and then later on you publish another post which is the top 10 trends for marketing automation. Now they might have very overlapping content and in order to avoid the duplication penalties and in order to set the precedence for the parent page, you can use a canonical URL. So let me show you how you can do that for individual blog posts. So let's go for a new post here and I will put in a title and some description here. So I've just added in a title and all text and post description here. So let's go ahead and click on create post. And in a few seconds, it should open up the builder for the blog post. Then here I'm gonna paste my content and then I'll just go ahead and click on continue. And now you'll see the final step, which is the publisher schedule. And now you will see here that we have an option to do a canonical link for this exact blog post. So if this blog post has the same or almost the same content as one of your other blog posts, you can set a canonical URL for the previous one so that gets precedence. And even in some cases I've seen when people own multiple different blog websites, and in some cases they do some overlapping content, so it's a safe way to do a canonical link URL to the parent post. That way you avoid any penalties and you also make sure that your SEO is not harmed in any way. So if you want to add a canonical link in this case, you'll just paste that here, fill out the other details here, and then you can go ahead and save or schedule and publish this blog post. And if you want to do this for your previous blog post and go high level, it's almost similar. You'll just click on any one of these. So I'll just pick an old one here. I'll click on that. And once it opens up the editor, we'll go ahead and click on update here. And in a few seconds, we should see an option for a canonical link. So you'll just add that here again. All the other things are already pre-filled. As you can see, this is a previous post. So once you add in your link here, all you have to do is click on update and you're good to go. That was about this video. This is Sama signing off. I'll see you in the next one.